Shout out to y'all for getting up to come here to talk about social justice. This is incredible. Give yourselves a hand. Today we are speaking about social justice, speaking about the work that Players Coalition has been doing. And we talk about the idea of voice and using your voice and using your platform. It all starts with finding your voice and finding what you're passionate about. One of the things that I was able to do was to join the Notre Dame chapter of the NAACP. It was about being together and forming community. And I think so much about social justice is that where it starts, you know, finding, finding partnerships, finding your people, finding community, and starting there with the relationships. So for me, that was like an introduction into leadership. There's a lot of things at play, school, family, social, personal, but you gotta make sure you're good. And whether it's yoga or, you know, talking to a therapist or whatever it is that helps you, whatever is most essential for you, that helps you not only off the field, but on the field as well. To be able to have a safe space to you know, share your experiences, ask questions, uh, find resources, this is something I wish I had when I was coming into school. As a student athlete, you have this unique opportunity where people are watching you. People care about what you have to say. People are going to you wanting to know your opinions, wanting to know your thoughts, and you have this or five years that you have a platform that you can really speak on what matters. Yeah. So no, you don't have to do that, but you get to do that. During this panel, it's about just letting the student athletes know that, hey, you do have a voice and you do have power. Now, how can you use it for good? How can you change things? How can you make a difference? It's so important for us to make sure that we're using our platform to speak truth to power. So understanding what the issue is and then how we come together to make sure that truth is really being heard. Where would we be if we didn't have those examples of the Tommy Smith and the John Carlos who took their platform to make sure that the world paid attention to the plight of what was going on in our country? So it's now on us to make sure that we continue that fight.